everybody. Miss Karen here from the Old Worthington Library. Just wanted to see how everybody's doing. Hope you are finding some ways to spend some fun time together while we're all staying at home. I wanted to let you know that I really miss you guys and we'll be able to come back to the library soon, I hope. But until we can, we thought maybe we'd try to bring some story time to you. So, I notice that it's been raining a lot around my house. Do you ever watch what happens outside when it rains? We get lots of puddles, right? And where there are puddles, there are mud. And when I see mud, you know what makes me think of? Pigs. Because we know pigs love to roll in the mud. Now, what you might not know is that pigs don't roll in the mud because they like dirt. They roll in the mud to stay cool. Pigs are actually very clean animals and very smart animals. So today, in order to celebrate some pigs, you see Piggy on my shirt? We are going to do some pig stories. And grown-ups, after we get done doing some story time activities, um, if you can stick around for a minute, I would like to talk to you to share some ideas and maybe some tips to help make the days go a little bit faster. So let's get started. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello, eyes. Hello, Hello, mouth. Hello, nose. Hello, shirt. Hello, shoe. Hello, dummy. Hello, you. So the first story I wanted to share with you today is kind of a puzzle story. You see if you can figure out what's going to happen. The other day, when it was raining so hard, I looked outside and I saw that it was raining here and here and here. It was even raining all the way out it rained so much that puddles started to form. First, there were little puddles, and then there were bigger puddles, and finally, I saw a puddle so big it looked like a lake. <gasps> oh, look out where that pig will get you all muddy! Now, grown-ups, one thing that you can do when we have these rainy days, and also to kind of tie in with the things we talk about here, is to look outside after it rains. Or if you're really brave, you can go outside while it's raining. But maybe take some chalk and draw around the outside of a puddle, and then you can watch what happens as the water evaporates. And go out every day and keep drawing circles around your puddles and see what happens. So let's do a pig rhyme now. We said that pigs like to roll in the mud to stay cool. That's because pigs can't sweat. You know in the summertime when you go out and it's so hot and you get all sweaty and kind of wet? Being wet like that helps you stay cool, but pigs can't sweat. So that's why they roll in the mud. It keeps them cool and it keeps them from getting a sunburn. So let's do a rhyme. It goes like this. I'm a little piggy, short and stout. Stout means kind of thick and round. Here is my tail. And here is my snout. That's what we call a pig's nose. When I get all steamed up, I don't sweat. I roll in the mud and stay wet, wet, wet. Sit, oink, 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 oink. So now that you know what's coming, let's do it together. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm a little piggy, short and stout. Here is my tail, and here is my snout. When I get all steamed up, I don't sweat. I roll in the mud and stay wet, wet, wet. Everybody say, oink, 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 oink. Good job. All right. I think it's time for a story. Now, some of you know that I like to use the flannel board at the library for some of my stories, but since I don't have my flannel board here at home with me, we're going to try this one on the computer. Are you ready? The Three 
Little Pigs Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They lived happily with their mama at the edge of the woods. One day, their mama told them, It is time for you to go out and make homes of your own. But be very careful to protect yourselves from the big bad wolf. Now, the first little pig was lazy. So he looked for the lightest thing he could carry. I know, he said. I will build my house out of straw. And he did. He was finished in no time. He had just gone inside to enjoy his dinner when the big bad wolf came along. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, cried the big bad wolf. But the little pig shouted, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, howled the wolf. And he did. The first little pig ran away as fast as his legs could carry him. And he got away from the wolf. The second little pig didn't like to work either, but he had seen what happened to the straw house, so he decided to build his house out of sticks. He had just gone inside to enjoy his dinner when the big bad wolf came along. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, cried the big bad wolf. The little pig shouted, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the wolf. And he did. The second little pig ran away as fast as his legs could carry him. And he got away from the wolf. Now the third little pig was smart and strong and had paid attention to what their mama had said. He decided to build his house out of bricks. He had just gone inside to enjoy his dinner when the big bad wolf came along. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, cried the big bad wolf. But the little pig shouted, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, howled the wolf. Well, he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puff, huff, puff, huff, puff. No matter how hard he tried, he could not blow that house down. The big bad wolf was so angry, he jumped up on the roof of the house and tried to stuff himself down the chimney. But he was so big that he got stuck. The third little pig had started a pot of boiling water down below, and pretty soon there was so much steam built up below the wolf that it shot him straight into the air. The big bad wolf flew so far and so high into the sky that he was never seen again. And the three little pigs lived happily ever after. The end. It's time for a song. We just did a story about the three little pigs. But let's do our jumping and counting song. And I have some very exciting news for you. First, we're going to put up our numbers to get ready for the song. Are you ready to help me? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, it looks a little bit like a curly pigtail, doesn't it? Seven, eight, nine, and 
what comes next? Right, 10. So we are ready for our jumping and counting song. And a big thank you to Jim Gill for giving librarians and teachers everywhere permission to use all of his songs and books to um, reach out and entertain you while we're all stuck at home. And even bigger news, Jim Gill now has all of his music available on all streaming platforms. So watch this. Alexa, play Jumping and Counting by Jim Gill. Here's Jumping and Counting by Jim right. Gill. Are you ready? Amazon music. Here we go. Jump, 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 jumping high are we. But we'll stop jumping while we count to three. Jump, 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 jumping even more. But we'll stop jumping while we count to four. One, two, three, four. Good job. Jump, 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 just like over sticks. But let's stop jumping while we count to six. Jump, 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 jumping, then we wait to stop our jumping while we count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Last time. Ready? Jump, 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 jumping once again. But we'll be finished once we count to ten. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent counting. Don't stop. Excellent counting. Now we're going to count down to blast off. Are you ready? Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Good job! So now let's do a piggy dance. Are you ready? This one is called the Higgy Piggy. And we're going to start off by putting our hooves. Pigs don't have feet at the bottom of their legs. They have four legs that have hooves at the bottom. So we're calling these our hooves today. We're going to put our hooves in and out. And then we'll put our snout in and out. And then we'll put our curly tails in and out. And finally, we'll put our whole pigs in and out. So are you ready? Here we go. You put your hooves in, you put your hooves out, you put your hooves in, and you shake them all about. You do the higgy piggy and you turn yourself around, and that's what it's all about. Now say, oink! You put your snout in, you put your snout out, you put your snout in, and you shake it all about. You do the higgy piggy, and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Oink! You put your curly tail in, you put your curly tail out, you put your curly tail in, and you shake it all about. You do the higgy piggy and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Oink! You put your whole pig in. You put your whole pig out. You put your whole pig in and you shake it all about. 
You do the higgy piggy and you turn yourself around. And that's what it's all about. Big finish. Oink. Beautiful. Now, how many remember from when you were just little? The rhyme that said, this little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy ran wee, wee, wee all the way home. Do you remember that one? Well, since sometimes we call our fingers or toes piggies, I thought this would be a really good time to talk about keeping our piggies clean, and we're going to do a little hand-washing song. Now, grown-ups, you might have heard me talk about piggyback songs before, where you take a very familiar melody and you put new words to it. And that's what we're going to do here. This is actually the tune to Alouetta, but we've turned it into a hand-washing song. All right? You ready? Here we go. Soap and water, got my soap and water. Soap and water, time to wash my hands. On the bottom and the top, make some bubbles, watch them pop. Watch them pop. Good job. On the top, watch them pop. Oh, soap and water, got my soap and water. Soap and water, time to wash my hands. Oh, I think I forgot to wash my thumbs. Did you remember to wash your thumbs? Let's do it. Scrub them round and round. Oh, that's better. Now rinse them off. Beautiful piggies. Good job. And grown-ups, if you would like to take a turn and just make up some silly words to this hand-washing song of your own, um, something might be fun for you and your child to do together. And in fact, it might be fun if you want to post your songs in the comments for our uh, Facebook page. And maybe we'll sing them when we get back together for story time. That would be fun. So thank you for spending some time with me today. And um, we're going to wrap it up. That's all I have for stories. But after we do our goodbye rhyme, parents, if you can stick around for just a minute, um, any grown-ups who are out there would like to get some tips. Um, I have some ideas I'd like to share with you, and hopefully you'll be able to use them to make things more fun while you're stuck at home. All right? But let's do our goodbye rhyme. You ready? We're going to stretch way up high and tickle the clouds. Now tickle your toes. Turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low. Reach up high. Story time's over. Wave goodbye. Bye, friends. I hope to see you soon. Take care and be well. Okay, grown-ups, if you have just a minute, I thought I might be able to some, share some useful information for you. So, um, you've heard me talk about, in story times, the five basic practices, read, write, talk, sing, play. And these are all things that you do every day to help your child get ready to learn how to read and write on their own. For me, the biggest one, uh, right now especially, is play. Play is the way kids are wired to learn. That's, that's how they explore the world, it's how they pick up new vocabulary, just all kinds of fun things in a relaxed way is the best way for them to learn. So I thought I would point out a few things that might help you um, not only continue some of the things we talked about today in story time, but also give you fun ways to play that are also educational um, when we're done here. So um, when we did our three little pig stories, I don't know if you can tell, these are things that I drew just using basic shapes. So they're all circles, ovals, triangles, rectangles, um, and they're just stuck together in various ways to make the, the animals that I wanted them to make. Now, if you would like to try something like that where you can um, cut out some different shapes 
and put them in different colors of paper. Um, it allows you to do some patterning games. Um, you can make things out of it, just like we did with the pigs and the wolf and the houses. Um, one easy way to do that is a Google search trick where if you type in a subject, and you probably can't read the print on here, but if you type in a subject, say, shapes, and follow it with the phrase coloring pages, you will get images of all kinds of coloring sheets that have shapes in them. You can either use them as patterns for your own shapes, or you can just print them out and color on them. Um, it's a great way to find other things too, like maybe um, you want to retell the three little pigs, you can put in pigs, coloring sheet, or even three little pigs, coloring sheets, and you will get all kinds of fun pictures of those animals that you can then color and cut out and do your own puppet shows with, uh, retell the story that's great for building a child's narrative skills and helping them follow the plot line of a story later on. You start getting that beginning, middle, end concept. So that's one tip you can use. Another one is a wonderful um, website that I go to a lot. It is called The Inspired Treehouse and it is just at theinspiredtreehouse.com and these are two women who are both mothers and pediatric physical and occupational therapists. And they have all kinds of really fun games on their website. They are all um, built to encourage developmental uh, milestones in kids, um, helping them develop in a way that is healthy and fun. And when I went to their website today, I just typed in pig. And I was able to get a game called Pigs in the Pen. And here's a fun thing you can do at home. It's a gross motor activity, so they're using their large muscle groups. And you get some balloons and some paper plates and a laundry basket. And you can decorate your balloons with piggy faces. And you take your paper plates and you chase the pigs around just by blowing on them without using your hands. And your trick is to try to get them into the pen, which is your laundry basket. Now for the teeny tinies, that's not going to work real well. They might just enjoy blowing on the pigs and chasing after them, or maybe you blowing on the pigs and chasing after them. But balloons are fun for any age. Just make sure you supervise very closely with the balloons, because pop balloons are a choking hazard. Okay? But there are all kinds of other fun games ideas for indoors and out on the Inspired Treehouse. The kind of really cool thing is that if at the end of every activity description, if you look at the bottom, it tells you exactly what skills you are working on developing when you use those games. So that was really wonderful. Another good resource um, with lots of ideas of things to do together, um, games to play, is pbskids.org, their section for parents. And I found they have a really nice article on there on how to talk to your kids about coronavirus. And a lot of actually what they say goes for us too. Kids are more afraid of things they can't control. So it, it helps you talk to them in a way that is appropriate for their developmental stage. But there's also very reassuring and hopefully it'll help everybody relax a little bit and you can focus on actually enjoying some of the things you're getting to do now, like spend some time just playing with your kids. Um, but it's, the language is great, and I found it to be very, very helpful and insightful. So again, uh, the ones we looked at today were pbs.org slash parents. Um, lots of good information and games and fun things on there. Theinspiredtreehouse.com, and using coloring sheets to help you find um, fun pictures and things to do on Google. So I look forward to seeing you hopefully soon. Um, everybody take care, be safe, and hang in there. You're doing the right thing. Take care.